Hey everybody, this is TubbyZilla86, and today I'm going to be doing, doing another toy review. I know it's been a long time since I've, I've done one of these, and, uh, well, since it is Christ Christmas today, and I already did my Christmas haul, I decided to review this guy, and he's also my favorite thing that I got. And so, here he is. Gandar, from Ultra 7. Now, to start off with his history... Uh, the the Ultra Garrison went to, and he's also a one-time monster, and uh, so the Ultra Garrison went to the uh, South Pole, where where Dan Morboshi lost his uh, Ultra Eye thing, and there was the, these like three alien things, which I forget the name of. And, uh, they were just taunting Dan, and then they eventually unleashed Gandar. And then, Dan unleashed Miklas, his, uh, second capsule monster. Gan- Well, Gandar was actually pretty stronger than- than Miklas. And, uh, he was, uh, he- he kept on using this, like, freezing breath, and, uh, while Dan, while they were fighting, Dan transformed into Ultra Seven and uh, had to go into into the sky to get more power. And uh, Gandar just kept taunting Miklas. Well, Miklas did get a few good shots, but not a lot. And uh, then Ultra Seven comes and fights Gandar and actually uses his Ice Slugger and cuts off his arms and his head. And, and then Gandar dies, and I'm pretty sure the alien that created him gets killed also. And that's it for Gandar's history. Now on to Detail. Detail looks, um... Uh, I'm not sure what to say. Uh, the, the paint job is just, uh... Not great. Well, the detail's good, the molding's good, but the paint job isn't, like... He's got some random blue and silver paints, paint splotches on him for some reason. I don't know why. And uh, he's also got some silver right in between his eye stalks for some reason. And if you can see, there there is, it may be hard to see, but there's a little hole right in his right eye stalk. But that's okay. It's fine. And uh, now onto articulation. He only has two. The arms. They both they both rotate 360, but uh, it's just hard doing this with one ha one hand with one one hand. Well, uh, yeah, he only has two points, which are the arms. Now, and now onto size comparisons. Well, I don't have seven or Miklas. Well, let's uh, custom. Let's size him up to another monster. Here is Godzilla. Now, hmm, I think this is actually pretty nice. They're actually mouth to mouth, but since Gandar is actually taller because of his eye stalks, I'd say this is actually okay. Yeah. Yeah. And now let's size him up with a fellow oh, Ultra 7 monster. Oops. Hello, King. Now, uh. Horn to eye stock. I say that because Hello King doesn't even have eyes. This is also good. Yeah. Now let's size him up with. Red King. This is also pretty good. Red King is actually taller. Well, since Red King is actually is taller than most of my figures, it's it's okay. This is okay. And now let's size him up with another king. King Kong. I know I still need to paint him. I still need to paint him, but I'll probably do that this afternoon or something. But uh 
Let's say this is also okay. And now, one you have already seen in two toy reviews, Garamon. Once again, pretty good. If I had Ultra Seven, then then it would actually or Miklas, uh, then this would be pretty good. Then uh, okay. And finally, Rarity. Well, this 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 Gandar is actually coming increasingly hard to find, but I managed Santa managed to find me one, and I'm happy for that. And so uh, I'll just go over rating. History is good. Detail is uh, okay because of the weird paint job. Articulation is okay, okay as well. Sizing is good. And rarity is is good. It is basic. And so, I hope you enjoyed this review. See you later, guys.